Alright, I should be going to bed, but I can't stand this. Um, T-Rex didn't have wings. It didn't. And let me just show you its anatomy and a bird's anatomy to compare the two to show you that no, the arms were not pointed backwards. They did not put the arms on backwards. They don't have the capability of flying. They don't have bat wings like a dragon. Chill. Let me show you. This is Sue, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. When it was found, it was 90% complete in the ground. So when they were digging her up, they found 90% of all that. Everything. Okay? Just so you know. This is an ostrich. This is what the skeleton of an ostrich looks like. Okay? Just so you know. Now, let's start with the ostrich. Look at the wings, right? So, we have the upper arm bone. Okay? Then we have the forearm, right? Hold on. Right here. This is the forearm. And this is the rest of the fused fingers. What used to be fingers when it was a non-avian dinosaur. Technically this is a non-avian dinosaur because it doesn't fly, but we call non-avian dinosaurs your regular dinosaur, but birds are also dinosaurs. Now let's head back to Sue. So we have our upper arm bone, then we have our two forearm bones, and then we have two fully functional fingers and one vestigial finger that is inside the hand. It's so small you can't see it. See? Right down there. So these are all the parts of a Tyrannosaurus Rex's arms. Everything on here is here. So our arm bones are up top, then a bird's, then a bat's. So all the colors over here are represented by the bones down there. So, if you look at the bird's wing, you see all the orange bits? Those are your fingers, right? And you see how the yellow bits, which right there, those are our yellow bits, they have fused together to create a more efficient tool for the animal, a wing. Now, look at a bat. The bat has something similar to what we have. It doesn't have any fused bones. That's its hand. Its hand has stretched out. Its fingers have stretched out to be able to create a mammalian wing. So this, 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 this is unique to bats. This is unique to birds. This is unique to apes. All, all three of these things are evolved differently, okay? So if you're still not convinced that T-Rex did not have wings, here is the wing of a Velociraptor. Yes, this is a wing, technically. This is an actual wing of a bird. This is created by R.J. Palmer. He is a very um, well-known paleo artist and just wonderful artist in general. So he knows what he's talking about. And so... This, this, this is a dinosaur hand. It had hands and wings at the same time because it's a velociraptor arm, right? And you see right here, we have proof that these existed because on this bone, on the fossil, there are these little dots called quill notches where these type of flight feathers would anchor into the bone to stay in there so it doesn't come off. Because if you notice, hey, look, same thing, right? Now let's go back to the T-Rex hand. Do we see any similar? No, we don't. If you notice the wrist bones right down there, right in the middle there, they are locked in place. So they don't bend backwards and down like this. They don't bend like this. They can't do that. Their hand is stuck like this. They can go like this. Sure, they can go in and out, but they can't go 
back and down like a bird's wing and look who else can do that the ostrich because it is a bird because velociraptor is a dinosaur that evolved into birds not specifically velociraptor but its family the dromaeosaurs and like the ostrich the ornithomimids or the bird mimics gallimimus doesn't this look like a gallimimus there's a reason for that because birds are dinosaurs and again look at the way the wing is shaped look at the way the arms are shaped they are not the same thing. This thing cannot support wings whatsoever. First off, this thing weighed 15,000 pounds. It was 40 feet long. Why would it need to fly? It doesn't need to fly. And some people want to know why this thing had such little arms. It must have had wings then, right? No, because evolution said, I'm going to get rid of these so you can have that you put all of your cards into this and so I took away this you guys should look at Carnotaurus's arms they are way smaller than this because this part right here you see that that's an elbow okay Carnotaurus does not have an elbow because these bones are so small that they are just stuck they're vestigial they don't move they don't do it nothing none of this moves the hands have four fingers that don't move there is no motion with those this right here this part the shoulder that's the only thing that moves in Chronotaurus. no wings no wings you can't can't bend like this like a bird right there's no quill notches here okay a lot of people say T-Rex has feathers. This thing is like, imagine an elephant, right? Elephants, they have hair like us, right? Like most mammals do. But it doesn't have a lot of it, like a bear or something. Bears are big. Bears are mammals. But they're covered in hair or fur. Elephants aren't. And why is that? That's because they're too big. They don't need it. They can, they can control their own heat. T-Rex is the same way. It is more likely that it had, if anything, hair-like filaments like on your arm, on, on the back of the head. Back here? Back there? Maybe on the back? Maybe. But that's it. Stuff that's like on your arm, your arm hair, about that light. There were no flight feathers like Velociraptor and Utah Raptor and Deinonychus. There were no giant wings of like bats or dragons just based off of the anatomy that's all i'm basing this off of just based off of the skeletal structure there is no way that she could support wings of any kind and i hope that i've simplified that enough if you need a better explanation on that please let me know i'll try and do a little bit more research because i just did this on a whim because I saw a video where somebody was saying that T-Rex could have had a beaver tail. Which, that's a whole nother thing. That, that's a whole nother thing. I think I've already done a video on that. I've done a video on this as well, I'm pretty sure. But T-Rex doesn't have wings. It doesn't. Again, if you don't believe me, first off, re-watch this video. Then come back to me and ask me any questions that you have tell me what you don't understand tell me why you don't believe me so then we can figure this out together because I am so tired of people saying that this 15,000 pound animal this 40 foot long animal supported wings when it's absolutely not true